my 150,000 followers all had the opportunity tonight to ask you a question. Already off to a bad start? <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Skip, 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 skip. Wow. Wow. Dude, you have dumb followers. Oh, they're the dumbest. Do you have any memories of Billings, Montana? I never was there. Where in Montana did you grow up? Hamilton and Baker. Yeah. What are know. your memories of Baker? Oh, hey, there's lots of them. What's your favorite one? Name one. Just just before we moved, they had drug some body out of the lake. That's my last memory of, of Baker. Is that why you moved? Granny, if you heard a wrestler whose name was Reno Riggins. Why do you ask me? Because I don't know. Reno much. Riggins? I don't know. Maybe if you shout it louder, maybe that'll trigger something. Reno... You know what Reno is? You were yeah. there a thousand times. Yeah. What's you ever heard the, the term rigging? No. You've never heard the term rigging. Uh-uh. It just keeps getting better. Leah versus... N- n- no. Leah. <laughs> no. No way, Jose. No, Mia. No, uh, what's that? No, Mia? No. Naomi! Naomi. <laughs> no, Mia. <laughs> you Naomi. cracked the code. No, Mia. <laughs> Dean Ambrosio's uh, book. I Amb- excuse me. Wait. <laughs> you woke him up. Ambrosio. Dean Ambrosio. Yes. Okay. Makes a heck of a salad. His real name was Johannes Johan- Johansson David Good. Hmm. And his. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Johansson? Yeah. Not Jonathan. And he's still carrying around two belts. Yeah, he's got reason. two belts with him. If he ever loses, he can hand him the one belt and say, all right, you're the. Uh, you're the intern. You're the emergency backup champion. TNT champion. Right. Uh, in case of emergency, break glass. Powerhouse Hobbs is standing there in his fur coat and sunglasses. Awesome. How many times I've wanted a fur coat this winter? I think, God damn, if I had a like a bear skin coat, I'd be warm right now. I got walking the other day, and it's fucking pouring down rain, and I got like halfway to her school, and I'm like, I'm fucking wet. Because the goddamn coat is warm, but not waterproof. I promise you. I know I can get a waterproof heavy you coat, go. you fucker. I have a waterproof coat, but it's not that heavy. You can go it was to exactly 35 degrees. Store in the it was Seattle just, area. Just right? above freezing. Seattle. You know what's famous for? Rain. Yes, yes, bears are waterproof. Are you kidding me? <laughs> go what's the last time a bear got water inside its body because it rained? Any REI, oh, yeah. any Eddie I Bauer. I saw a bear the other day. Its stomach you know, Macy's, was out to here because it rained Penny. on it. Target of water Walmart. inside the bear. There's so many places. It's like a to fucking get a piggy bank that has a slit in his that will back. Keep you warm and also dry. God damn. This is not a mystery. Our bears waterproof. You think the bears in bear country are waterproof? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. I'm your host, Brian Alvarez. Joined, of course, by Big Vinny V. Hi, Brian. Craig. Hello. Lance Storm. Is that a towel? Craig, uh, legit looks like Julius Caesar. Yeah, I did my my hair down. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I think I'm out of focus, so we might want to hit that autofocus button. I've been told. I'm definitely out of focus. Let's, uh, let's, there we go. Everyone thinks I'm short, but in fact, I'm as tall as Vinny here. In fact, taller in this photograph. I would go as far as to call that regal. Seems like we got a lion loose in, in uh, Lance's house, coincidentally. Yeah. <laughs> is Lance, that a Lance, puma? Lance brought the yeah. jungle beast. I was hoping Bridget would come along to either feed me these grapes or wave me with one of those big fans, but when I suggested this, she was surprisingly negative. What? Why? <laughs> like that idea one bit. Why? Oh my God, Vinny, please. Mm. Make sure you take that outfit to Hawaii and get video of you running down the beach in it. Oh, bro, oh. Th- this thing's going everywhere with me. It's awesome. All right, here we go. I couldn't take a big one. Ah. Mm. Excuse me. Look who's here. Vinny, hand her them grapes. I have the greatest wife. She's going to give me a couple of grapes, not too many. I'm on a low-carb diet. (laughs) Like all Romans. (laughs) Have you ever eaten a grape before? It's not alive. I've fed a grape. Thank you, love. I appreciate it. I'll take one more. No, I won't. Oh, God, she's really... Hey! One more. Knock it off! Hey, we're not having a food fight in here. God damn it. (laughs) Grapes all over the floor. So eventually MJF comes out and doing a WrestleMania 9 entrance, being carried to the ring by, may as well have been Egyptian guards, 
Somebody must have watched our toga party. We've got a huge reach, apparently. We, we may have a stronger influence than we realize. I think that Between we Between the RK Broga party and MGF entrance here, I think we are trendsetters. So MGF also has two lovely young ladies with him. And one gives him a polite little peck on the cheek. He and the other one may have a, a trading chewing gum. They were deep into each other. Well, not to break kayfabe, but that's his girlfriend. I can't believe that's true. Yeah. Oh, come on now. It was hilarious. I was just <laughs> reading all these people on Twitter like, how much do they have to pay that girl to kiss MJF like that? And he's ranting, and like out of nowhere, I stopped paying attention because, oh my God, why is Jake Hager wearing Merlot-colored velvet capris? What the hell was that? Uh, Shivani is interviewing Rapongi Vice backstage when, as always happens in AEW, they are immediately interrupted. By the Young Bucks, and Adam Cole joins in as a three-on-two beatdown, which then becomes a four-on-two beatdown, when who should join in but Switchblade Jay White? Last-minute thing that came together. It came together Sunday after Tony Khan had made a tweet about someone busting through the forbidden door and signing a contract, and he was referencing Keith Lee, but since everyone was talking about Keith Lee, they started talking about how that's not the forbidden door. Keith Lee was was fired. He's a free agent. He's not coming through any door. Mm -hmm. And so Tony got all, oh, man, I did say the forbidden door. So then he contacted New Japan. He was like, can I get Jay White? And so literally that's how this whole deal came together. So it's Isaiah Cassidy versus a mystery opponent, which is, in fact, spoiler, Keith Lee. Keith Lee grabs this dude and just pitches him into orbit. I'm not 100% certain if Isaiah Cassidy has actually come back down yet. When Tony Khan first decided that he was going to bring in Keith Lee, he already had his idea for this first spot. <laughs> like, that's how far back this thing goes. This was not like, you know, he decided, ah, we'll put Isaiah Cassidy. What do you want to do tonight? I'll like, do he deal. had an idea from day one, yeah. and it played out here at the beginning of the match. Man, if I could be a fly in the wall in the back while they're going over this spot with Moxley. You're going to be here, and we're going to spin around, and you're going to jump over him, and you're going to go... And Moxie's head just spinning around like, I just want to fucking punch somebody. Jade Cargill versus AQA. Oh. Yikes. He, he starts him. forking him like he's Abdullah mm. the Butcher. That's exactly what And he then he starts eating with the blood off this fucking fork. It was straight Abdullah spots, Gah. yes. Yeah. Gross. I wouldn't do that. And then afterwards, Adam Cole comes to ringside. He just presented the belt to Paige, put it on his shoulder, and patted it as if to say, I'm coming for this. And that was that. Dude, these Creed brothers are green, but man, with the right opponents, they can have a fun, fun match. And when they began to speak Spanish, it was like the best NXT promo in months. I didn't understand one word. I don't speak Spanish. When I took Spanish classes in high school, I got a D. Okay. Now, there was an incident last week where I lost my mind and uh, attempted some gory self-mutilation. Smitty, stop that! No! I don't believe my own eyes anymore. What I, what I think I see, they're telling me I didn't see, all right? <laughs> but that's what happened. Okay, so seven days ago, seven days ago, he shaved his own head. He goes back here. I swear to God, his hair's back again. <laughs> well, like, nothing happened. I thought I got hung up on stupid shit. The point of the <laughs> show cares? is to drive me insane. They're gaslighting me. They're telling me he shaved his head, but he comes back. Well, unless, unless I had this theory on the way over here. Maybe. Maybe there are many clones of Duke Hudson. Oh, God. And every week he gets a different haircut. Bro. Did you see the prestige? They took Hugh Jackman, a handsome Australian, and cloned him. Duke Hudson's a handsome Australian. Maybe he has an army of clones getting a different haircut every week. I'm trying to hang on. I'm trying desperately to grip on reality. And every time I, I'm, every time I think I'm there, every time I think I'm safe and stable, Duke Hudson's hair changes again. His motivation changes again. Something about Dante Chen. 